Have you recently sent your son or daughter off to college? Have you noticed any changes in them at all? Maybe they used to be staunchly pro-life, but now they're kind of unsure. Maybe they weren't political at all, but now they're coming home and they're like, eh, you know, mom and dad, I think I'm kind of political now. Just maybe a little bit. Coming home on Thanksgiving and debating climate change, social justice, universal health care. As it turns out, there seems to be a pretty good reason for this. Our children, hear me out, this is crazy, are being indoctrinated. And we are paying tens of thousands of dollars to allow them to do it to our children. If you're signing a check for your children's college tuition, sit down before you hear these statistics because you might pass out. If you're driving, just pull over to the side of the road. There's a new study published by the National Association of Scholars. Now, we knew things were bad in college and universities, right? Did you know it was this bad? New study published by the National Association of Scholars looked at nearly 9,000 professors at 51 of the 66 top-ranked liberal arts colleges in the U.S., and they found political bias on campuses is not a rumor or conspiracy. It's hard fact, and the numbers are insane. If you remove the two military colleges from the study, the ratio of Democrats to professors, Republican professors, is 20, uh, sorry, 12.7 to 1. Wait, wait, so the amount of a Republican or Democrat there professors... There are 13 Democrats, if you can even call them Democrats. Right. I'd like to see how many are Democratic Socialists. Yes. 13 to every one Republican. Oh, my gosh. 40% of the colleges had zero Republicans on staff. 40%, 40 of colleges? 40%. Oh, my God. 80, 80% had so few Republican staff members that they found it statistically insignificant. <laughs> so 40% had none. 80% had such a low love number, it was statistically insignificant. Now, this has been building for decades. The study found in 1984, 39% of college professors described themselves as left-leaning. By 99, it was 72. Today, it's an all-out dumpster fire. There's nobody with a different point of view. The numbers look even worse when you break it down by academic field. You want to know how the leftists are so effective in rewriting history? Maybe due to the fact that everyone... Every single, uh, every single one rep Republican history professors, for every one, there are 17.4 Democrats. 17 to 1. Your child an English major? If so, there are 48.3 Democratic professors for every one Republican. And it goes downhill from there. The field with the scariest liberal to conservative ratio shouldn't be a surprise at all. Anyone who watches or reads the news, listen to this. Out of nearly 9,000 professors and 51 of the top rated schools, the number of Democrat to Republican communications facility members, not professors, communication facility members is 108 to zero. Why do you think our media is unbalanced? The number of conservative communications professors is zero. Zero. So if you think the bias in the media is bad now, you haven't seen anything yet. And I just want to just ask you a quick question. Why are, why are we all still signing those checks? That next tuition check, why are we writing that?